What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing my first Godzilla singular point figure, and that is Godzilla Tiresias from Playmates. Now grant the cover looks great, especially this awesome picture of Terrestrius. Hopefully I am saying that name right. Looks awesome with the coloring. But it would have been a little bit like this, but we'll get into that when we get to the color. The box has just Godzilla Singular Point right here. Toho Studio Series right here. Sorry, I almost messed that up. On this side, we got Ter Godzilla Terrestrials. Now, on the back here, we do have... A little bit right here if the camera will focus. If you want to read that, go ahead, pause the video. And we got awesome picture of Terrestrius right here in a in a fire fire buildings or buildings on fire in the background. And move the camera up here. Because right here we got some more. If y'all want to pause the video to read that, go ahead. Alright. Don't want to. Oh, I need to fix the camera. We got off center. Alright, now let's go on and get Terrestrius out of his cardboard prism. Alright, we got Terrestrius out of his cardboard prism, and I got to say he does look pretty good. Cool in this way. Hopefully y'all can see the good um, detail on him. I know the lighting, it could be better for this. Alright, there is some assembly acquired, and that is the pin on the tail, but that is just a common thing that we got to do with the Playmates figures, especially with these long tails that we get, but they are awesome. Now, there's two ways, a couple ways you could do this, actually. You could force, try to force it and heat up. The tail part right here with like boiling water or a hair dryer. But before we try doing all those, let's just see if we can just put, put it in. And there we go. We, went, we got it in there. It was a little bit of a lot of turn, pushing and turning. But it is in there. So our terrestrial is complete. Now terrestrial is actually. Everyone really thought that this was um, someone else. And we'll get into that when we get into the apparison. But first let's go over um, Godzilla's terrestrial um, colors. And first off, it looks nice in hand. On camera, it might look a little bit darker, but it is not. It's just because the light is uh, actually really above, right above us, so you can't really see that well. This is something I don't get. Why don't they just go on and paint the whole tail like they do the stomachs? Like, I mean, it ain't that much left right here, and all they're probably doing is just taking a brush and just going like that, probably. I don't know. It would have been nice they would have finished it. Then that would have gave it a little bit more points. 
on color and right here on the tail. Now I know Terrestrial's tail we don't really see that much of. Instead when it comes out of the red smoke. But is the redness stop right here or does it go all the way down? It probably goes all the way down. Since it's all about part way. I mean all the way to the tip. But just not all the way at the tip. Probably like right here. Like the head. But other than that I would give this... The coloring of um, probably seven, seven and a half because it looks nice and everything but there's just a few things that they could have done one would have been finishing this part and the red now right here I know they're not they wouldn't do like the red on the things and that's just that's a given right there but this right here they could have went on and done and for the finger and the finger claws, cause I don't want to say claws because of the the feet claws, not even the dew claw. But yeah, about a seven and a half on the paint, cause the like what you see on camera is what it should have looked like, cause it's a little bit darker. But in hand, this this is a really bright blue, almost like sky blue or pool blue. But the red does look nice. But we also got the eyes, if the camera could focus. There we go. You see the little dot for the pupil. I do like that. But sometimes you'll just get like a just a yellowness, and there'll be no pupil. Then you get all those teeth on the inside. Now imagine, just imagine if you if we had teeth on all through our mouths like that. That would just be painful. I don't know how some <laughs> someone thinks of these, but it is cool though. But I was just thinking about that since there are a couple other. Um, Kaiju Monsters that has this, and one other one I could think of is Baa Latte, but that's getting off topic. But yeah, the, um, I d recommend if you, I do not have the Bandai version of this figure, I'm sorry, this is actually my first um, Godzilla Singular Point figure. So I do not have another one to pair it with, and we're going to move on to that. And sizing, and what I got the size of with is what he was um, re um, based off of, and that is Gorosaurus. Now, Terrestrius and Gorosaurus is basically, well, Terrestrius is actually a hybrid of what you would get if Godzilla and Gorosaurus fuse. And while I'm saying Godzilla, here is legendary Godzilla. I, I just had him here because I'm still at the other place. I'm sorry that this video should have been out a long time ago. Even before the Jurassic World videos I did. And... Some stuff came up, and I'm sorry that I'm just getting to this video, but there was a lot that needed to be done for my other house, to, for my house to be finished, but uh, some other stuff has come up, and uh, we're, we're getting it straight, don't worry, videos are going to start coming out again like they used to be. I'm just going to have to pack up some stuff and bring here, so don't worry, videos will be coming back like on the regular basis hopefully but yes this monster right here is based off of a hybrid between Godzilla and Gorosaurus and you would actually end up with something like this a long Gorosaurus tail Godzilla like thighs Gorosaurus legs Godzilla's long arms and Gorosaurus's claws because he's only got, well, never mind. 
I thought he only had three claws, but he actually does have a, a thumb. So it's more like Godzilla hands and face. Just a long um, snout or long jaw like Gorosaurus has. So, yeah, that's um, basically is because this is based from that. We just It's just evolution for Godzilla. But it is awesome. Now, I'm going to go on and move these. But he does size pretty good with them. Because this monster wasn't really at the highest peak like Ultima. So, this is before Ultima. So, he does actually size good with your other Playmate figures. Now, one more figure to size him up with. And that is... Shin Godzilla because these two came out at the same time and like I said a few minutes ago this video This video should have been out long time ago, and that is actually should have been after Shin's video and I'm sorry that I did not get to it until now I Started doing the other videos, and I had some stuff going on But I'm glad that I finally got to this video and like I said videos are going to start coming out regularly like they were so thank if you all are watching this thank you all for being patient and still being here I'm um, every day I kept thinking about making videos but it was just too much was going on and I'm sorry so I'll, I'll talk more about that in a later video I'll go on get back to this because I don't want the video being too long for y'all but yeah, this size up pretty good. Too bad we can't get him to stand up um, straight up like he does in a couple scenes. But we need to do that kangaroo kick though because how the tail's curved. Would have been cool to see him do that to a monster. Be like this. <laughs> Hopefully Future Me did the sound effect with that um, kick. Gonna move him out the way. But yeah, that is my thoughts on Terrestrious here. Hopefully, I've been saying that name right. If not, let me know in the comments. And um, I wonder if I can get a better light on here. I have to get my other phone because of the th the stuff like I said there's a light right a ring light right above my table so that's what is going on like I didn't mean to drop my phone but this is why videos have been so shady because the lights coming down and it's not like um oh, messed up but there we go if y'all can see a little bit butter detail on them and you can see the background the shadow that's given off that's pretty cool i might actually try doing that one day to put up a figure and take and take the pencil and draw it out on the background because look from how far the thing is because my arm is straight out just barely touching the paper so imagine the size of that that's the whole background right there so let me know if y'all want me to do that one day. Just take a shadow and draw it out and try drawing the picture on a piece on a piece of paper or something. Might look kind of cool one day. But yeah, I'm going to go on and end the video here. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And it feels good to be making these videos again. And see y'all next time.